Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or to the channel if you're new. In today's episode is part two of Planet Zoo. I'm excited. And we are picking up right where we left off with the zoo looking dram damp and sad and dark and all of the above. As this poor fucking keeper tries desperately to get all the flamingos in, even though she has to walk a freaking hike to do it. But I'm excited because to start this episode off, we are actually opening the zoo. I think we're going to have it open maybe to like, from like, uh, six and we'll open it at like nine because we haven't really got any lights in yet. So let's open this zoo, finally open. Let's see what's happening. We have two exhibit animals and then we have one uh, habitat animal like species. So let's see what people think. Hopefully people like it. I mean, you can literally go in with the flamingos, which I think is pretty cool. So we're gonna see what's happening and then we're going to move on to another project. So let's see, what do people think? They think the zoo ticket price is great. Okay, that means it's going up to five and four. Let's see what people think of that. The zoo ticket price is still great. What do you think? The zoo ticket price is fair. Okay, if you think it's fair, it's fair. And so it's currently raining, so people might not appreciate that, but it is okay. So let's just see what people think. So people seem to be drawn over here to having a, having a look at these. I Oh, I forgot to add these guys' little information cards. So let's add up those guys so that way we can do that. And it gets us some education points. Awesome. So we're starting to get more flamingos in here and that's looking very cute. They must be loving the fact that it's raining right now. I love that. And look at all these guys coming in here. That's awesome. I hope they enjoy it. That's great. So I was trying to think about what animal we should start on next. I do want to make our zoo look a bit better before we start on anything else. So I added like this back part because to me it just doesn't make any sense. Like where are they cleaning it? Where are they adding stuff? And like, I know the staff actually jump out the front, but I feel like they should not be. They should be going around the back. So I just added this like little staff section that they can go through. And now that we're making some money, I'm going to start pu putting some plants in and just making it look a little bit nicer. So let's see what these guys think. I feel like it's fair. I feel like it's actually more than fair. I would literally pay like 10 bucks to walk with some flamingos, to be honest. Um... Everyone's just having thoughts like, cool, 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 cool. So how many staff do we have? So we have a vet, we have a keeper. We do not have a caretaker. I think I will just add a caretaker so that he deals with that. And we have one vet who feels like she has a high workload. So I'm gonna add another vet so she doesn't stress herself. And then while we're doing that, I also think we should like pay for some training. And I'll also train this keeper and this person and maybe the caretaker as well. Just, it's costing us a bit of money, but I think down the line it will help. And then we'll add just one more vendor so they can swap out with each other. So these guys are going, doing good, making some money. You would describe the view as okay. Are you serious? This view is okay? This view? The view where you can literally walk down here and be right next to a flamingo is just okay what anyways i'm trying to look and like see what animals would be kind of good to bring next so as you know we're just doing aquatic so all of these guys are within our kind of reach we can do a gray seal which would be really cute i don't know there seems to be some in the market but they are quite expensive so I don't quite know what the best option would be for them. Ja Jaguar, that's pretty cool. Platypus. So I did a bit more greenery here and then I added a small kind of waterfall just over here with a rock wall to hide the under of like the path. Look at these cute guys. Oh, they're so cute. What precious little babies. I also, last episode, I think I talked about it, but like have all these signs here and then at the end just a do not disturb sign. So like in my mind, they know to stay on the path because while the if the flamingo comes up to you, you can, you know, play with it, whatever. Uh, but if the flamingo is off the path, it's not kind of your business to follow it around 
and that's kind of a way to make sure the flamingos stay happy despite all of these people around and another thing is these flamingos actually appreciate i don't know why it says no hard shelter when there's shelter right in here unless it like let me just take a look of traversable area oh they can't get in there anymore okay i will remove those okay they can get in there now hopefully yeah they can awesome 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 because we don't want them to not be able to get in there and these little guys are the sweetest and it keeps raining and i feel like the next thing we should do is build a underground or at least some way that the guests can kind of escape from the dreaded rain that keeps coming so let me just have a look at all of the aquatic animals and any that we could create a underground area for. So do we have any gray seals on the market? We do. Okay, so we could buy two seals. Should we do it? Should we? I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is a good idea because I didn't read anything about him. I guess we shall see if this was a good idea. So gray seals uh up to three to eight but we can just do two but up to eight still needs very little amount of space and they need quite a bit of deep water so what we can and what we should be able to do is build off this way and have them come around here and then they can have like an underground viewing section i don't know if we'll do it in this episode but I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Like, it's still not perfect, but we're, we're learning as we go. But I will call this one a bit of a shorter episode. We've kind of filled this up. And the next episode, we will start making the seals. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you all next episode. Bye!